بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین وصل اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد وعلا علی وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد ایو الحبا strive your utmost to leave behind good deeds and to correct yourself making toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala trying to do righteous deeds in this life and in a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrated as collected in Sahih Muslim about the importance of leaving behind some good deeds because everything in this dunya is going to leave us <coughs> our clothing so don't put all of your heart into this dunya into having the nicest car the nicest uh, piece of equipment and all of the fruits and things that we love of this dunya because it will pass and all of the items and things that we collect they will leave us and the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said إِذَا مَاتَ الْمَرْئِ إِنْ قَطَعَ عَمَلْهُ إِلَّا مِنْ ثَلَاثِ صَدَقَ جَارِيَ وَالْعِلْمِ يَنْتَفَعَ بِهِ وَوَلَدٍ صَالِحًا يَدْعُو لَهُ رُوَهُ مُسْلِمٌ The Prophet alayhi afdal salatu wa salam said that when a person dies his deeds leave him except three Sadaqa Jariya the first being Sadaqa Jariya meaning the continuous charity and knowledge that the people benefit from and the third a righteous child that supplicates for him or her. Ayyula Habba, those are the three most cherished things that we should strive our best to try to get at least one, if not all of them. Strive your best to, if you have the wealth, and even it doesn't require a lot of wealth, there's small ways you can do this. Sadaqa Jariya. The continuous charity. Maybe you don't have the money to be able to build a mas masjid yourself. But maybe you can give a few dollars towards building a masjid somewhere. Or building a markas or a pl institution where the people study the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Or contributing to those people who are have established those things or perhaps maybe buying some Qur'ans and donating them to the masjid all of those ayyul habba are small ways some of those are small ways in which we can contribute and perhaps get that fall under that hadith of leaving behind sadaqa jariya a continuous charity and ayyul habba the second way is by gaining Islamic knowledge and teaching it not all of us are going to have that blessing and that ability. But if Allah favors you with that, strive your best and your utmost to be sincere to Him. And push out knowledge about the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the madhab of the Salaf of this Ummah. Do not be of those who are responsible for propagating bid'ah. A'udhu billah min dhalika. So if you raise some students up, or if you write some books and leave them behind, maybe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make benefit in that and those people will be a source of your gaining forgiveness on the day of judgment and your entering paradise and all of those other great blessings. 
And Ayyul Ahabba, the third thing the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned was having righteous children that supplicate for you after you die. Ayyul Ahabba, all of us who have families can strive to get this one out of the three. That if we put money and energy and time into our children, and may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings, that perhaps our children after we die will supplicate for us. They will supplicate on our behalf and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, for, to forgive us. Maybe they will make Umrah or Hajj on our behalf after we've died as an extra continuous way to put deeds on our scale and gain forgiveness from Allah. So Ayyullah Habba, be conscious of those things because this life is going to pass. Even though it's so, we get so caught up, we get excited about different things. We want things, we want wealth. Some of us, we want wives. Some of us the, desire the, the, the most uh, wealthiest husband for those women that desire that, or the richest husband, or we desire riches and we desire this and the best clothing and this. But all of that, Ayyullah Habba, Will, will disappear. Even many non-Muslims have come to realize that, hey, this life is, 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 is going to pass. Your fame you attained in this life is going to pass. So-and-so was so famous and we loved him so much and he died. He's just a memory now. And even that memory may not continue that long. And this actress and this movie star and this singer and this person, this entertainer, or even this righteous scholar. The only thing that's going to benefit them, Ayu al Habba, is that they died upon Islam. And they left behind some of those righteous deeds that the Prophet والسلام, said would continue after. And if they left something good in this life by doing good deeds, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all of our sins and help us to come closer to Him. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.